Tonight, New Japan Pro Wrestling invades AEW as John Moxley defends the IWGP United States title against the Japanese legend, Yuji Nagata. of New Japan Pro Wrestling being brought to the ring by his trainee Ren Narita. Yuji Nagata part of the third generation of New Japan Pro Wrestling students alongside Manabu Nakanishi, Satoshi Kojima, and Hiroyoshi Tenzan. Nagata traveled to the United States in 1997, Tony, where you had an opportunity to call his rivalry with Ultimo Dragon. His rivalry, Ultimo Dragon, was one for the books back in WCW back in that day. I haven't seen him since then, but here we go now. Can't wait to see him go after that United States Championship. Your opening contest set for one fall with a 60-minute time limit is for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling from Chiba, Japan, weighing 238 pounds, Yuji Nagata. Nagata has not been on TNT in 23 years. Wow. He's a man that under his belt of accolades, he trained Tanahashi, he trained Okada, and, and many more Excalibur. He certainly has. He has been a mainstay. But here is the champion, the fighting champion. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing 231 pounds, he is the IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion, Jim Moxley! This will be John Moxley's fourth defense of the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. Folks, this should be an outstanding matchup. Referee Bryce Remsburg overseeing the action. This match will be contested under New Japan Pro Wrestling Championship rules. 60 minute time limit, 20 minute count, or 20 second count out on the floor. But these men wasting no time to go at one another. Right in the face, those forearm shivers. Nagata known in Japan and around the world for anyone that knows him, that he is one of the toughest men in all of pro wrestling. Wow, Intense. Look. He just was stalking the champion that time, John Moxley. Oh, the kitchen wow. sink by Nagata. He uses that? those knee strikes so effectively, and he dropped the champion with a big boot. Moxley on the floor. There we see New Japan Pro Wrestling's Rocky Romero looking on, cheering on Yuji Nagata. The guys, some great champions have held that IWGP US Championship. That's right. Kenny Omega, our AEW World Champion. He was the first one, right? Yes, Cody Rhodes held the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship, as well as the Murder Hawk monster, Lance Archer, the man that Moxley beat to win the title. And Moxley, the diving knee strike right between the shoulder blades. Yeah, right in the spine. 
that can certainly easily debilitate Yuji Nagata, the veteran, who's in magnificent condition. Man, his, uh, his legacy will live forever in New Japan lore. You know, we got some very exciting news that AEW is going back on tour. That's right, we are going back on tour this July, beginning July 7th at the Knight Center in Miami. Wednesday, July 14th, the ATV Center in Cedar Park, Texas. Wednesday, July 21st, the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas. AEWTIX.com. Tickets for all three shows go on sale this Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, AEWTIX.com. Wow. Don't be left out, folks. Jump on those tickets on Friday. Right now, the champion, John Moxley, in control of the challenger. Elbow drop here, lateral press. Now there's uh, Lance Archer, and, and you mentioned that Moxley defeated Archer for that title. Archer had a title defense in California against David Finley, son of the legendary Fit Finley. Right now, John Moxley teeing off on Eugene Nagata with those kicks. That's not the type of battle I would want to get in if I'm John Moxley. But that's a page out of the Nagata playbook. Before this is all said and done, or maybe I'm wrong, there's cover. a cover. We're going to see some kicks from Nagata that will oh, reverberate throughout Daly's place. Nagata known for his blistering kicks as well as his sublime submission acumen. He gravitated towards that, that snake pit style of pro wrestling from the late, great Billy Robinson. That was Nagata's preferred style of pro wrestling. Oh, here we go. He caught Moxley. Nagata looking for the exploder. Moxley fighting out of it very desperately. Well, there you, you look back at the record of Nagata, Tony, he trained so many of the greats that we mentioned earlier. Minoru Suzuki is another. Absolutely. And he's as well, bad a man as is walking the earth. Suzuki was actually a, a high school rival of Yuji Nagata in, uh, in wrestling. But right now, Nagata looking for that exploder. Takes Moxley over the top. This could be it. We can see a new champion here. Covers. Moxley kicks out with one to go. And now Nagata, if he senses he has the advantage, being the veteran that he is, he won't make any careless mistakes. Well, we have a loaded, jam-packed show tonight, man. Tony, this is the first of three title matches tonight on Dynamite. And Kenny Omega is going to find out tonight who his opponent will be in double or nothing in an eliminator match. Eugene Nagata fake with a drop kick. Wow, that was sweet. Moxley covered up, and Nagata with the face and drop kick. Now you mentioned the goddess kicks were superb, and they have been on target here tonight, Excalibur. And he is about to tee off wow, with the man. IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. You notice it was with the left foot. He'll hit you on the, the right one as just as deadly. And look, Moxley wants him to do it again. Hit me, kick me again. Mono a mono stuff will get man. you beat. And this is a fight that Moxley asked for. He wanted the challenge of Yuji Nagata. He wanted a representative from New Japan Pro Wrestling to come here and fight Moxley on AEW turf. Man. What a slugfest we got. The human body can only take so many of those jarring shots before something becomes disconnected. The high boot avoided by Moxley, the German suplex. And Moxley looking for the big clothesline, the lariat. Oh, he hit his shot. That's how he defeated Minoru Suzuki. But Nagata kicks out. One thing we've always known about John Moxley, Excalibur, he's a fighting champion. It doesn't matter. He wants anybody to come over here, even wrestlers from Japan, and get a shot at this title. He will not back down from any challenge. Moxley looking for the pile driver. Nagata can feel the. Could feel the body movement of Moxley. See, he's getting a wide base. Yeah. And able to backdrop Moxley out of it. And that's a shot right to the midsection. Maybe got him in a stern. I'm not sure. Soda plexus in that area. JRT, Nagata is just so fundamentally sound, isn't he? Yes, he is. Everything he does. Yeah. He's beautiful to watch in the ring. Exactly. I agree. Hope the young wrestlers are watching us on TV tonight. We thank you for joining us, everybody. That they can learn a lot from watching Yuji Nagata do I, his work. I agree, man. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh, the exploder, avalanche exploder from the top. Nagata's got a chance. He's got the chance here. And Moxley giving Nagata the salute, but Nagata covers. No, Moxley kicks out. I like the fact that Nagata looked at Moxley, 
Moxley popped him the birds and he just kept right on after him. Didn't stop. Kicked him again. Yuji Nagata, one of the longest reigning heavyweight champions in New Japan pro wrestling. John Moxley, the longest reigning AEW world champion ever. This is really a battle of champions right now. Sleeper hold applied. Slowing down Nagata. Restricting the flow of oh, the blood to the brain. Look at that counter. Now just, and now he's looking for the arm breaker, the Shiro May. Nagata wrenching back. Boy, and Moxley's got a dig and deep. The, there you see the Shiro May, the whites of the eyes. Nagata gonna snap the arm of Moxley. There they got the ropes. That's the only thing that saved him. The bottom rope, the salvation for John Moxley here in this match. Yuji Nagata, 53 years of age. He says he wants to wrestle until he's 70 years old. He is looking in top form here tonight. He was always one of the great Antonio Inoki's favorites. Yeah, that, that third generation of, of New Japan pro wrestling students really embodied that fighting spirit you gotta style. Wonder, sorry, you gotta wonder how long must one of these guys can take these, these forearm shots. Well, something breaks. And the Enziguri by Nagata. Moxley rattled. Oh, he comes back, sliding Lariat. Cover! No! Just rolled off that left shoulder. And Moxley looking for the bulldog choke. Well, Moxley's opened up, I think, around his eye or his nose. Something here. Which will not slow him down one I owe No, sir, man. Keep on fighting. And now Moxley changing grips, trying to put out. The submission expert, Nagata, but Nagata trying to inhibit the grip, inhibit the arm of John Moxley. Outstanding wrestling match. Strikes, kicks, submissions. Uh -oh. You're seeing it all here, ladies and gentlemen. This is tremendous. What a way to open our program. And those driving knee strikes to the face of Nagata. Butterfly, oh! No! The paradigm shift! Cover! Two! Respect for Nagata. Moxley calling in his second, the young boy. Those okay. driving knee strikes set Nagata up for that paradigm shifter, the Death Rider, as it's known in Japan. But either way, John Moxley retains the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship and tremendous respect shown by champion to challenger. It ain't ballet, ladies and gentlemen, and what a pro wrestling match we all just witnessed together. Folks, uh, respect. You don't see this very often. That's wonderful. Two warriors with great mutual respect. Great representation and representatives of our business. But, but fellas, uh, later tonight, we got a whole lot more wrestling coming. In our main event, the TNT Championship will be on the line. The battered, the bruised Darby Allen defends against the best man, Miro. And after last week's blood and guts victory, we will see the coronation of the pinnacle. And the number two ranked women's division champ, Thunder Rosa, will be in action. And the AEW World Tag Team Championship will be on the line. The Young Bucks defending against SCU. If SCU lose this match, they will break up. Pack will take on Orange Cassidy in the AEW World Championship Eliminator match. The winner goes on to face Kenny Omega at double or nothing. Kenny Omega will be on your line to address his challenger, Cody Rhodes. Coming up next, though, we'll make a big announcement concerning double or nothing, JR. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to this from the That's Inner Circle. Brutal matches in AEW history at Blood and Guts. What's next for the Inner Circle? Plain and simple, a message to the pinnacle. We had all five of you down, beaten, bloody. Just like that. Strange twist of fate occurred. And you guys got it. But then Max showed his true colors. Max showed what type of man that he is by pushing Jericho off the top of the cage. And then had the audacity to get my partner Santana arrested and detained because he got stabbed with a fork. You're lucky he didn't take that fork and scoop out your eyes and eat it.
bitch moves, Max. We told you. We told you you would have to kill us to stop us. Santana detained, but still alive. Jericho arm mangled, but still alive. So hide behind your victory tonight, but the fact remains you failed. You hear me? We want another match. You hear that, Marvez? This is never over. As long as the pinnacle and the inner circle in the same company, we will never stop coming for you. So unless you give us a rematch, we're gonna change the title to tonight's little show, to the coronation of the pinnacle, to the funeral of the pinnacle. So give us our rematch, or we'll put you in the grave. Very strong words. Wow, is it ever, man. And you can tell they mean it. Boy, this is getting to be a personal issue of epic proportions. Understand that Jericho has a dislocated elbow from that tumble that he took. That wasn't a tumble, that was a shove, Tony. Yeah, that a was a heartless shove by MJF. Very well said, Excalibur. Can't wait for this announcement. Sunday, May 20th on pay-per-view. We're all looking forward to that without question right here in Daly's place. And we're gonna find out, I'm assuming, who uh, Mr. Rose there first to compete with. I want to remind the fans we have a new limited edition shirt from Top Rope Tuesday. This exclusive shirt only available until next Tuesday. Visit shopaew.com, the Cody Rhodes t-shirt. And we will hear from the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes about his plans for double or nothing after this break.